All right, so as I promised during the weekend, today we are gonna be covering a brand new layout that was just released by good old Redacted. As I'm sure some of you already know by now, Redacted kind of releases uh, different versions of his layout. And over the last month or two, he has pretty much accumulated about six different versions of his layout. And that's exactly what we're gonna be covering in today's video. It is called Ruckle or R-U-C-L V6, however it is that you wanna call it. Either way, before I go ahead and kind of destroy all of my floors here, and we rebuild everything. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the stats that were provided by Redacted. So I guess let's start off with the important information and that is this is very much a pay to win layout and it is an end game layout. Couple of other details, it is a 10 floor layout, 450 mil to 600 mil per hour according to Redacted and approximately between 7,400 and 15,500 customers per hour. Now, some of the items that you will need for this is uh well obviously whatever furniture it is that you're using right now whether it be vip corrupted inverted if you're you know rich like that but probably the most important thing is that you will need two ruby dishwashers yes this entire 10 floor layout is being completely held up by just two ruby dishwashers and if i open up my settings over here there is 308 seats in here and these ruby dishwashers are not even phased by it ruby dishwashers are definitely super duper op right now but honestly it's kind of great because uh it gives us more room for the layout so moving over here to the stoves you don't exactly need ruby stoves i only have one of them for the rest i went sapphire so i would suggest you do the same but i would imagine that emerald here and there is probably not a problem as well but for the most part, uh, that's everything that you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need, you know, the Christmas trees, luxury silverware trays, and, you know, some of that good stuff, as well as even a couple of coffee machines. But that's kind of like a standard for all end game layouts. I guess now let's teleport to floor number one, and we're going to get started with rebuilding this entire thing, which I feel like floor number one is kind of like the most confusing part about this. Again, like always, if you guys want to go ahead and not really follow along with me in the video and you want to just go off on your own, link to my discord is at the very top of the comments discord.gg slash carbonmeister join in there's a verified layouts channel it is the most recent layout that was posted in there you will find three graphs follow along with that and you should be good to go with that being said let's go ahead and transition over to me picking everything up all right so there we go everything has officially been picked up except for all of the filler items that i have down the reason for this is because there is certain spots that you need to leave empty so it's a lot better if if I just kind of leave the fountains or the wells, I have no idea why I just called those fountains. Mainly because it's a lot easier for you guys to count using the wells in order to know exactly where you need to make these spaces. But either way, let's go ahead now and get started. If you are facing the front door right here, just go ahead and use that as a reference point for where you are going to get started with your very first table. Go ahead and put the table right in the center of the doorway and then bring it towards you once space then to the left one space and place down your first table there after that you're going to place another one right next to it and two more on the sides of those so in total you will have four tables right in front of you the exact same way that i have it right here after that using the table to the far left hand side go ahead and go down one space and then to the left two spaces and down one space Right here, you will place another table and you'll pretty much be doing this exact same thing all over again, except that you'll be going down one space to the right two spaces and then down another one to place your third table or I guess your sixth table. I have about like three brain cells today from what I'm noticing. Either way, go ahead and from the table that you last placed, leave a gap and place another two down right literally above each other like how I have right here. Leave another space and then place down your final table. So at this point, you've now finished the top portion, the left side and the bottom portion of this. There's only one final table left and that of course is this one right over here so using this final one that you just placed before go up one space to the right one space and then up one more and here you will actually be placing the final table 
in your first floor. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing, but to be honest, placing down the tables and everything else is the fairly easy part. The difficult part is kind of placing down the chairs because they need to be facing a specific way in order for every single table to have four customers. So let's start off kind of with like the easy one being obviously these down here in the front door. All of these will be facing the traditional way, nothing too fancy. So you can freely go ahead and place down all of these chairs facing these tables that you have here, whatever it is that you have, corrupted, VIP, or inverted. Same thing goes for this table over here on the left-hand side when you're facing the front door. These will also be the exact same. And same thing also goes for this table over here. Now, when you make your way over to this side, this is where it starts to get a little confusing. So I'm going to rotate my camera to now the front door is behind me. And the four tables that we are kind of uh, placing down seats for right now are on my left hand side. So these two yellow blocks that I'm standing on right now, you will place down two chairs facing this table. Then you will place one on the left hand side and the right hand side of the table. And you will do the same exact thing with the table right above that. Another one over here, another one over here, and two on the top. Well, there you go. You pretty much have now completed these two tables in the center. Moving on to this one over here, both of these chairs on the top will be normal. Then you will have one facing over here on the left side to the table. And then this pocket that I am standing in right now, you will have the final chair facing right there. The chair to the left of that will be facing towards this table. And same goes for the chair that goes next to that one and to the left of that one as well. So if you notice, now we have three seats on this table that are facing it. Obviously we need one more. So that will be put over here in this empty pocket. And now you have completed every single chair for the first floor. From this point onwards, it's actually fairly simple. Grab two luxury silverware trays, place them to the left and the right hand side of these chairs right here. And then the finishing touch behind these chairs will be the Christmas tree. Using this block over here as the point of rotation. So place the tree right there, rotate it, and there you go. The other two trees will be on the left and right side of the front door. Again, point of rotation over here, rotate it around and make your way over to this side. Same exact thing, rotate it and place it down. With this being done, you have now officially completed floor number one. You will have two empty pockets over here and three empty pockets on this side. The rest of the empty spaces in the entire restaurant will be completely filled up except for these spaces over here. To give you guys the exact kind of like location of these, starting from the top right hand corner, you will go ahead and move over one space to the left, then down one, two, three, and four. Your fourth block will be completely empty. Then you will place another filler right after that. And the sixth block will then be empty again. The easiest way to find the other ones is by going back to this one that you made and then moving over two spaces, putting fillers here, and the one after that will be empty. Again, put another filler item right under that, and here you will be leaving two empty spaces. It's honestly fairly simple. I know it seems a little complicated when I'm explaining it, but once you guys are actually in your restaurant or following along with this, it'll make a lot of sense because all you really have to do is just count it. Now again, those are the only places that will be empty. Everything else will be 100% filled in with filler items whatever it is that you want to use wells roses uh cactuses eternal statues whatever it is that you want to use just fill up the space now we move on to floor number two which will be your kitchen don't worry this one is nowhere near as complicated as the first floor and the third floor is actually even less complicated so this should be honestly a breeze moving forward but let me go ahead and uh kind of pick everything up here so i can break it down for you guys all right so again i've gone ahead and kind of left all of the wells so you can use those as counting points or i guess reference positions whatever it is that you want to call it i don't even know I feel like i say that all the time but oh i forgot actually a luxury silverware tray now i do want to apologize because this floor is obviously filled with a lot of staff member so it's going to be really really difficult for me to show you guys stuff sadly i can't disable the staff so we're just gonna have to make it work so starting over here on the top right hand side of where the teleporter is you will
will be placing down both of your Ruby dishwashers. This is not negotiable. It is literally Ruby dishwashers, nothing else. You will run into clogging issues if you are not using Ruby dishwasher. And even with still using two of them, you still may run into clogging issues. If for instance, you're using advertisement boost, even in some scenarios, it just unfortunately ends up filling up. I will show you guys what to do if you do run into this issue, but you will need more than likely another Ruby dishwasher. But again, I don't really have this issue. So I will be going with two starting on the top right hand side, place down your first dishwasher. And then right under that, you will be placing down another one with the dishwashers facing towards the teleporter. In front of the top one, you will be placing a luxury silverware tray. And then in front of the luxury silverware tray, it will be completely empty. Switching over to tables now, if we kind of follow along where the bottom dishwasher is, you'll notice that I have the table right next to it. Just go down one space and this is where your first table will be. Then go ahead and rotate your table using this block right here move it over just two spaces and that's where your next table will be and the last one will be right above it next let's switch over to the golden order stand you'll be using this table right here as a reference point because it will be exactly on the bottom left hand corner of that table place that down right there and you are good to go with your order stand the final piece before we place down all the chairs which i do want to point out nothing too crazy with the chairs here pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and grab our christmas tree Point of rotation is over here. We're gonna place that down there and switch over to our chairs where we will then place all of these down normally. So there we go. We have ourselves the dishwasher as well as the seating area completed. So let's move on over to the stoves now. So again, for these, this is the main reason why I left the wells up because now you guys can count along with me to have the exact location on where you're gonna be placing down your stoves. So again, going from the order stand right here, move down one space move down a second space then left one space and a second space this is where you'll be placing down your very first stove after that just kind of go around in a perfect square three by three just like how i'm doing right here and keep rotating them so that they are facing the center just like that, you should have yourself an empty pocket in the center. Every single other empty spot inside of this floor will be filled up with filler items. So like I said, this was a fairly simple floor. But floor number three is even easier. All right, so here we are. This is the design that you will be going for, not only for floor number three, but all the way from floor number three to 10. You will repeat this over and over again. So like always, let's pick everything up and uh, do this all over again, even though it's gonna be super duper easy. All right, so starting with tables on the top right-hand corner, go ahead and place your table right here, move it down in one space. This is the first location. Rotate it and move down two spaces just like how i did right here and you will stack up two tables right next to it there's going to be a one space gap in between the top and bottom table that's a good little reference point for you guys to follow right there then over here you will rotate your table bring it up to the top here and move it over leaving a one space gap again rotate it again and leave another one space gap stack it on top and there you go. These are super duper easy to put down. I don't even think I need to explain it to you guys because I'm pretty sure you can just follow along with what I'm doing here. But for the most part, that is literally everything. The only other pieces that you could possibly mess up at this point would probably be like the Christmas tree and the luxury tree as well as the coffee machine. And even still, these are super simple. Point of rotation is right over here. Rotate it, place it down, grab your luxury silverware tray, place it on the top. And right next to that, go ahead and grab your coffee machine and place it down there. Everything else is literally just seats. Nothing else, just simply seats. And there is literally no trick to how the seating is arranged. So there we go. That is basically what it's going to be looking like at the end. You will have two empty pockets here. And as for filler items, you really only have to do two rows all the way around like how I did. The rest of the entire floor can be completely empty if you want to. So you don't have to waste money money on filler items. Again, this will be repeated for floor number four, floor number five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to the top, which I probably should point out because I'm sure someone will in the comments, the fact that there was a VIP customers coming in and it does more or less seem like I have full corrupted. We come to my 10th floor. I do have VIP tables up here, 
Reason for this is because I do have goals that pop up occasionally, which require VIP customers. Well, there we go. That is pretty much the full breakdown of Ruckle V6, R-U-C-L V6, whatever you want to call it. Shout out to those of you that wanted me to go ahead and make a video on this because the first floor was a little bit complicated, mainly because the graph doesn't really show the arrangement of the seats. So this one more specifically is for you guys, especially those of you that are not able to get Discord and jump in there. This is also for you. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more My Restaurant content. We are insanely close to 200,000 subscribers here. It's insane. I would have never imagined it, but I appreciate it so much, man. That's going to go out in there for this video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.